Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aquarius. Now, um, it is a general reading, and so uh, these messages will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. Um, if it doesn't resonate, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. And so, uh, let's begin. This is representing your situation, the first position. The second position is the obstacle that you are facing. Um, and so we will bring your awareness here. And the final message is, um, is from spirit for your journey. So let's begin with the situation. And here we have the card of thought. So this is the situation. Um, possibly you're trying to manifest something and maybe it is just not working. So let us look deeper into this card and maybe find out why. How we think. Whether we think in a positive, confident and compassionate manner or whether we think in a negative, critical and judgmental mental manner will give rise to the same energy in our day-to-day -day lives. Our thoughts are energy in its simplest and purest form. And just as all that is matter is also energy, so it, it does not take belief in a particular concept or ideology for our thoughts to have influence, influence on our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, as as well as on the lives of those around us. When this card appears um, in the present moment, it represents taking a holistic approach to your thoughts and accepting their power to be able to shape your reality. Thought, emotion, belief, and perception. They all work hand in hand with each other. Each is separate from the other, but each also has the power to change one or all four. All four have been shown to govern our overall energy. Now, we attract to us what we focus our thoughts and attention upon, but it is not a simple case of like attracting like. With energy, there's always more to it. Um, regardless of whether we believe in the concept of universal law or not, these laws will continue to work around us. In simple terms, there are seven universal laws, and they are as follows. The first is the mind. All is of the mind. All is energy. All that exists within your reality is born of what dwells within your mind or the minds of others. We are all born of the universal mind. The second is correspondence. As above, so below. All that dwells within us dwells externally. What we feel and think within our heart and mind, we will see and experience in the world around us and see mirrored in others. The next is vibration. Nothing is still. All is energy and all that is energy vibrates. Everything we experience with our senses takes place on a vibrational level. Everything within the universe vibrates to a particular frequency. Like vi vibration will attract the same or similar vibration, while those of a different vibration will repel. The next is polarity. Everything has its opposite, and those opposites are identical in nature but different by degree. These opposites are both part of the whole, and without both, there is no whole. The next is rhythm. Everything ebbs and flows, waxes and wanes, transforms and transmutes. Everything has a season, 
and every season comes to an end as it flows into the next. Then there is cause and effect. Nothing happens by chance. Everything happens for a reason, whether that reason be known or unknown. For every action, there will be a reaction, whether it be your actions or the actions of others. The final is gender. Everything contains elements of both masculine and feminine. The universal laws influence our lives and there is never just one law at work in our experiences. They are all working together and weaving every moment in unison as if our lives were part of some cosmic tapestry. Whether we can conceive of it or not, these universal laws are at the foundation of life and existence. With this in mind, it stands to reason that we should at least be mindful and aware so that we are the master weavers in control of our loom and thread. Remember, it matters not how much you want to manifest a particular outcome on a conscious level if your unconscious mind thinks, feels, and believes something completely contradictory. If your unconscious mind is full of thoughts of failure, fear, or a belief that you do not deserve the outcome you desire, then your overall energy will be very different to what you think, uh, yeah, your overall energy will be very different to what you think it is. Like an ocean, your surface may um, may reflect a, a peaceful calm while the depths below are murky and hide currents that can drag you down. And because the thoughts that are locked within the unconscious mind are more deeply rooted than your, uh, within your psyche, your vibration will mirror those unconscious thoughts for good or ill. So, you might ask, if an individual has no awareness of what dwells within their unconscious mind, unless it manifests in specific patterns of behavior in the present, how can he or she have any power over those unconscious thoughts and the behavior they give rise to? Well, the answer is that rather than focusing on what is seemingly not in your control, you instead understand that you are a being of unlimited potential and allow the seeds of a new way of thinking to take root. Instead of being uh, optimistic or pessimistic, be realistic. Embrace a way of thinking that embraces the whole instead of either or. There is a silver lining to every storm cloud. Remember, to look for it. There is something good to be learned from every failure. Try to learn it. There is a ferryman to be paid for every success. Be prepared and willing to pay your dues. In these ways we can take the bad with the good and the good with the bad and find a center place where both are met with peaceful acceptance. Instead of the expectation that a particular outcome is the only outcome that will take us where we need or want to be. It is good to understand too that every time you set your, your heart and mind to a particular objective, you are likely to experience both moments of bliss and moments of terror as your thoughts swing from one to the other, back and forth, back and forth. Be mindful and aware of your thoughts and their influence and shape your mind into one that works in harmony with the universal laws. And you will begin to see your thoughts in action and how they actually manifest into your reality. If you have ever changed your mind about something, you will know that doing so can change everything. Think about that statement. Again, 
for good or ill. A change in thought can change your life in an instant. This card has appeared for you. Because it's time to really see and appreciate the power of the thoughts that dwell within you. Now, with regards to this, okay, you have a blockage in one of the universal uh, laws, which is the masculine uh, and feminine. Okay, so um, an imbalance can occur when we have too much of one and not enough of the other all of the time. Too much of one without enough influence from the other can create a, a very discordant and destructive mix. But what is the right mix? This is not about having equal parts of both, but about having a harmonious blending that is suited to your lifestyle and your personal goals and needs. If you are not assertive enough, you may need to embrace more masculine energy. If you are overly assertive to the point where others are always intimidated by you, then consider embracing a little more feminine energy and soften your approach. Masculine and feminine energy should be allowed to flow and ebb as it is needed, like fire flickering and dancing. You add less less fuel, you know, if you want to uh, cool things down and more fuel if you want things to heat up. Enough heat uh, gives rise to creative, productive energy, but uh, too much heat can burn both you and others. Cooling things a little gives rise to a nurturing warmth, but too little fuel uh, and then the fire can go out completely, you know. So uh, this card symbolizes um, an opportunity to take a moment to evaluate your life and ask yourself whether you need to embrace a little more masculine or feminine energy in your day-to-day -day activities and relationships in order to manifest. Do you need to step up and be a little more assertive and proactive? Does something or someone need your protection? Are you not nurturing yourself or, or others enough? Are you being overly analytical instead of heeding your intuition? Are you allowing impatience to get the better of you when your situation calls for calm and for compromise? Are you choosing a path of inaction when you need to embrace one of action in order to manifest the changes you need? So, pause a moment, okay? Pause a moment. Evaluate and bring your masculine and feminine energies back into a harmonious alignment with your life and your needs and watch how your world begins to change. Now, as a final message from Spirit, we have staying focused, holding the course. So, Be clear about where you're going. Do not compromise. Follow your dreams. You deserve the best. Prioritize your life. Once you decide on a direction, then hold that course. Do not veer from it. Do what's important and release the rest. Place your intent and passion on one thing. Okay? Um, rather than scattering it in, in many directions. And you will be successful. Uh, on the path, it's easy to be distracted by people, events. Do not 
take any side roads, Spirit says. Stay the course. Keep going. Um, no matter what emerges in your path to distract you. It's easy to get lost and forget where you're heading. Just recommit yourself to your destination. What you focus on is what you create. create. So again, we are referring back to thoughts, okay? Um, so put your attention on what is worthwhile, beautiful, and inspiring. Refrain from focusing on what's not working. Only focus on the direction that you wish to go. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone um, who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.